Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on for you whenever it is that you find this video. What is it that you need to know? So this is for any significant Pisces placements you may have. If you've got a lot going on in Pisces, this could resonate. If you're dealing with the Pisces, this could resonate. Always take the messages as they apply to you. Never force anything to fit. Flip the roles if you have to. And even if you don't have a lot of Pisces placements or you've got no activity in Pisces that you know of and it's just a house in your chart, but you are guided to this video and this channel, trust that there are messages here for you. And just trust your intuition, go wherever it is that you're called to go on the channel, okay? Now, I have been a bit run down, so I haven't been able to do the work-specific reading that I wanted to and the love-specific reading I wanted to at the weekend, but I will be getting them done in the next couple of days, okay? So stay tuned for those. You have others in the playlists that you can check out, uh, including your weekly. Four of Cups, huh, okay. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> the Four of Cups is an energy of uh, just feeling a bit meh. I don't know. So I don't know if you're getting an offer or something's presented to you and you just, mm, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I want it. Let's see. All right. What's going on for Pisces placements at the time they watch this reading? And thank you all very much for liking, for sharing, for your comments, for subscribing. We're almost at 5,000. That's very exciting. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords, a time of contemplation, uh, retreat. It could be a temporary pause. It could be a focus on healing, um, a focus on rest, recuperating. It could also represent a time of waiting. So let's see. Current situation, we have the Knight of Wands. So something's charging in. This could be where that meh energy is coming in, where it's like something's charging in, let's go, 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 but you're in a place with the four swords, where like, but I'm kind of comfortable and, and at ease and at peace. I'm not sure how I feel about this fast paced type of situation. Let's see. King of Wands in the challenge position. I feel like, yeah, someone's really chasing you, Pisces. Someone's really chasing you. This can be to do with your job. This can be to do in love. This can be to do, um, yes, Harvey with a particular task, project, um, something you've been working on, but it's almost like it's two different speeds, right? You and this person are working at two different speeds. And the challenge is this person does have a level of authority. This could be a boss, um, Harvey. Harvey, he's so stubborn. He's like a mule. Do you know you're a cat and not a mule? They say mules are stubborn. I don't actually know any mules <laughs> to ask them. Harvey, for the love of God, man. No, we're not doing this today. Give me 10 minutes and I'll be right with you. Sorry, they've just been on it all morning. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just trying to do a chill little reading over here and he's just all over the place wanting attention when he wants it the way he wants it, right? That could be the scenario, what an example. Foundation, we have justice choice, a decision, a contract, a commitment, balance, meeting in the middle, king of cups in the recent uh, past. This could be for some of you where um, I feel like you and some, someone else want the same thing, but you came at it at very different speeds, meaning by the time they get hyped about it, you're kind of over it. It's almost like a window of opportunity that's almost closing for you to meet in the middle with something. And now you're like, well, I don't know if I still want this now. If it took you this long to, mm. you know, this is something you, at one point in time, you really wanted, you really pushed for, you really were open, interested, not necessarily pushed the way they're pushing, right? But like being interested in it, asking questions about it, being open to it, pursuing it in your own way. Not in a forceful way with the King of Cups, right? But it's like, hey, I'm here, I'm keen, I'm interested, just say the word, and they never did, right? Um, and now that you're kind of like over it, more or less, you're like, you know what, I made my peace with the fact that it's just not gonna happen. It's okay, I'm at ease, I'm comfortable, I'm at peace. I'm not stressing about it anymore. Here they come, let's go Pisces, let's go, go, go. And you're like, well, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, that's really what that's what I'm getting. Someone said in the comments at one time, I love it when you do the different people and the different voices. And I'm like, yeah, I think it's funny too. Um, but okay, on the mind, Queen of Coins, long term, long term gain, long term potential, growth, expansion, putting down roots, creating something stable, creating something concrete with with the long term future right that's what's on the mind for some of you this could be two people chasing you at the same time a lot of people chasing you today and you're like i just i i'm just gonna have a me day like i'm not gonna i'm gonna invest in myself nurture myself take my time with things queen of pentacles okay let's see how that go how that's gonna go oh oh no, oh my God, Pisces, what's happening? So we have the King, the sorry, the Knight of Cups. So two Knights, King of Cups, King of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, with the High Priestess and the King of Coins. So we've got three Kings out here. So it could be for some of you a day when you're just dealing with a lot of higher ups, execs, managers. You could be in a lot of different meetings today. Everyone wants things from you and you're just out there doing your thing and you're like, I'll get to it when I get to it. Harvey, Harvey and Charlie. Sorry. Listen, this is exactly what I mean. I'm like, can I have five minutes of peace, please? And they're like all over the place. So it could just be a very busy day dealing with a lot of different people. Everyone wants something from you. They could be making you offers as well. It's not like they're asking you to do things. They could, but with the high priestess, you're like, listen, I'm going to be very selective in what I give to and where I put my time, energy, and resources. I can't help all of you. I'm not even going to try, right? I'm going to do what I feel comfortable doing and meet you in the middle, but I'm not going to go overboard, okay? It could be that kind of a day. For others of you, yeah, someone is pursuing, there's some sort of offer with the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're dealing with two separate energies or this could be your energy and someone else's okay um if you're dealing with two separate energies this could be in work this could be in love this could be in hey go out with me let's do this together let's do that together it could be different family members asking you to do stuff with them or for them um and with the high priestess the four of swords and the queen of coins i'm seeing you being very very grounded very balanced you're like um you have a bird's eye view on things you know how far you're willing to go with something you know how far you're willing to give and you're also prioritizing time for yourself okay or that's the advice don't try to be everything for everyone don't uh sacrifice your own peace right they can figure it out like you know they're grown people with all the kings here they're fully capable don't overextend and don't overcommit yourself um and if you have a busy day and that's just what it is, just make sure you put time aside for you. Make sure you eat, make sure you rest, make sure you sleep. Well, it's uh, if you have if you can take power naps by all means, make sure you're drinking water, make sure you're looking after yourself. Don't sacrifice yourself today, okay? Which might be a challenge because there's a lot happening, but that's why it's a challenge, right? You can do it. Now, for others of you, you're dealing with two different people pursuing you, maybe even a third, okay? Um, with offers, they want to team up with you, partner up with you, collaborate, couple up, I don't know. And you're going to have to use your own discernment. You're going to have to use your intuition. Think long term, because I feel like one is coming in fast, determined. But just as fast as they come in, this is the type of person that's a go-getter and likes to tick things off, right? And as soon as they ticked off, okay, I got Pisces in my corner, it's almost like they move on to the next thing. Something else is always a priority, okay? If you are their focus right now, that doesn't mean to say you're always going to be their main priority, right? It's that kind of person. Nothing wrong with that, but just be aware. If that's not something you're looking for, make your decisions accordingly versus you have a different energy that's maybe not as in your face let's go let's go let's go but they're always they have a calming energy to them they have a soothing energy a nurturing energy to them okay you might have to trade roles with that person every now and again in terms of who pushes things or who initiates things 
okay, versus this other individual where it's clear they're the go-getter and you just kind of, you just follow along, you just go with it, right? Versus the other energy where it's like, it's more of a balance and every now and again you push for something, every now and again they push for something, but it's still, it, it's like a dance that keeps going, right? It's balanced. So think long term, which one do you think you're going to have a, a more stable or what kind of long term future do you want, right? Which of these partners, potential partners, is going to get you there? You're going to have to make a decision today, okay? And for others of you, this is your energy and this other person's energy with the King of Cups here, where I feel like you want the same things, you want the same thing, but you're going at it in very different ways. And you're going, the challenge is to meet in the middle, okay? Too much water, one of you has too much water, the other one has too much fire, regardless of signs and the challenge is to meet in pentacle energy right let's ground it let's be realistic let's be honest about it let's make a plan okay versus getting lost in the emotion or getting lost in the passion or overthinking not grounding anything let's get more cards out here for pisces let's see knight of wands in the current situation page of wands listen someone is regardless of their sign but someone is all fired up they're going to be messaging you. They're going to be wanting to see you. They're going to be wanting to speak to you, travel to you, for you to travel to them, with them. I don't know. And again, on your part, I just get the, mm, I don't know. King of Wands in the challenge position, eight of coins. Yeah, either you're dealing with someone where you don't really see follow through with them. So it's like, yeah, you want me now, but um, how about next month? So you could have a history with this person where... Um, you know how they are and now you're making a different decision in terms of well do I really want to be doing that is that still in line with what I'm trying to achieve in life this is the type of manager that while you have their attention they're the best okay they listen they support they get things done with you and for you but everyone wants their attention and so when they have to give their attention to someone else you kind of get put on the back burner and you have to wait your turn again and you don't know when it's going to be you know so it's like I don't know if that's the best thing for me right because they could be offering you something where you're like well I don't know because then I don't know if I'm going to have your support the way you say like yes I will have your support but it's not the way I would need I would need a more consistent versus bursts with you right Same thing if it's a relationship. You're like, I don't know how I feel about this because yes, I have your interest now and you're very passionate about me now, but you travel too much, right? You're on the road too much. I don't know how I feel about that. I need someone who's there every day or I need someone I can see every other day. And I'm not sure you can do that for me. And I don't wanna be the person that says you have to stop the way you live your life because I need you to be a more consistent partner. I think pentacle energy, we have to be a bit more realistic and go, Maybe we just want a different thing or we want the same thing, but we live lives that are too different. Okay. We can't have what it is that we want, not in a way that is fair for both of us. Right. So you might have to make a tough decision today. If you're already in a relationship, you're like, okay, I'm ready to push this forward. And maybe you're with someone who's in a phase of their life where they're pursuing their career heavily. Right. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's time to make a very, could be tough decision because this could be talking about breakup, separation, going separate ways because it's not right i'm ready to put down roots start building but i can't count on you to follow through to be there to be consistent for the little things right and there's nothing wrong with how you live your life and how they live your life it's a case of is this realistically does this make sense towards a stable future together are you perfectly happy and content and are you getting all your needs met am i getting all my needs met because if not it's not a case of I want you to change or you want me to change, but it's a case of what is needed for us to keep this going is too much sacrifice for one of us or for both of us. Do we really want to put us, ourselves through that, right? It feels like if it's a new relationship, you're like, well, I'm ready to take it to the next level and they're not for whatever reason. They've got other fire, uh, priorities or this could be you. And it's a case of, well, let's we need to sit down and make a decision about this because... I don't want to be wasting my time. I don't want to be wasting your time either, right? It's that kind of, uh, let's put emotion aside. Yes, we like each other. Yes, we love each other. Let's put passion aside. That's great. But realistically, 
are we is this a fulfilling relationship does this have a stable long-term future the one i want for myself the one you want for yourself do they look the same right what are you willing to offer and what do i need do those add up versus and vice versa right justice in the foundation with the moon i feel like this has been a long time coming for some of you okay if it's an existing dynamic in your life you might have been avoiding this decision because it's like you you kind of know already with the moon and the high priestess that it's time to call time on something and for others of you again there's been it's almost like on the same path but one was further ahead than the other or one was moving at a different pace than the other and now whoever was behind somehow is catching up but then the person that was always ahead is now rethinking is this something i still want king of cups in the recent past the seven of cups someone took a long time you waited for a long time for this person to catch up and then they took a long time to figure out what they want to do they took a long time to make a decision they took a long time to take action this is an overthinker this is someone who procrastinates because they're afraid of making the wrong decisions in their life or this is someone who procrastinated because they didn't want to put an end to something they may have wanted to put an end to something but they didn't want to deal with the aftermath with the consequences they didn't want to deal with the uncomfortableness of it right so you're like, listen, let's start our own business. Let's work together. They're like, great, sweet, let's do it. And then you're like, okay, well, I'm ready. Like I walked away from my job or I put those things in order. I went to a part-time. I sorted out, you know, who to talk to to get the funds or to get the this and to get the that, right? What are you doing? And they're like, well, I'm going to have to tell my boss I, I'm quitting. Yeah. Um, well, it's not really a good time right now because we're doing all these projects and I feel bad leaving, which is fair enough, right? But you're like, okay, but we need to get going. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. I got it. As soon as this is over, I'll tell them. Cool. And then you're like, a couple of weeks later, what are you doing? What's up? I'm still go, go, go. They're, well, I kind of broached the subject. They've asked me to give them a couple more days, a couple more weeks. You know what I mean? Very different speeds to the point where you're at a place of well listen i'm i don't want to push i don't want to i don't if it doesn't work it doesn't work but tell me don't keep me waiting right or you've already made the decision you know what i don't really want this anymore you don't don't worry about it right and now they're like no 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 i want to go i want to go let's do it i'm ready pisces i've done it i'm out let's do it and you're like well mm, i don't know Same thing if you're dealing with someone who did, they weren't making the moves they needed to be making to get out of a contract, to get out of a relationship, to get out of a different commitment, to get out of, different, of a different obligation to come your way, right? Queen of Coins on the mind, we have the Four of Wands. Yeah, you want long term, you want stability, you want marriage, settling down, having a family, you want a stable relationship, you want a stable environment, you want a stable job situation. Okay, or you want to start your business. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, home-based business. You want something reliable, okay? You want something where you can build, you can invest, and it will grow. Not something that is in bursts, when and if someone has time, when and if you're the flavor of the month, when and if you caught their eye. You want something consistent. You want something stable, reliable, predictable, in the sense that I know that if I invest in this, it will grow, right? In that sense, whatever this is in your life. So that's what's on your mind. So let's see, the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, and the King of Coins. We have the Tower, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. I, I'm not sure they're going to let you go that easily. If this is someone that you're trying to walk away from and you've kind of tried, you've already tried to turn your back on them or you've already released the situation, um, I feel like it will be a big shock when they come in. Because with the Eight of Cups, whether you actually walked away from it or not, emotionally you've checked out. And with the Tower and the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups, there's some sort of declaration, big bold action this person is taking. And we've seen that in our readings lately, some, something big and bold happening, right? to get you to change your mind, to get you to come back, to get you to reinvest in this situation with them, right? Oh, 
All right. So what what, what else is going to happen? What's Pisces going to do here? You have the Seven of Coins, the Knight of Coins, and the Strength card. Here's that meh energy. <laughs> like Seven of Coins. I don't know. This is negotiation. This is, if I were to do this, how would that work? If I were to give you a pentacle, what would you do with it? What's the plan? Knight of Coins. What's the plan? What's the approach? And the Strength card. Firm boundaries. Confident conversation. What do you have to offer? What are you thinking? What are you planning? What are the deadlines? What are the expectations? And I'll think about it. Okay? Because you're not about to leave a good opportunity behind. Because you did recognize this is a good opportunity. Great opportunity. Right? Um, what you're not thrilled about is all the back and forth and all the procrastinating. But it looks like this person is now all fired up determined four of swords six of coins yeah see you were waiting for a reciprocation ten of swords and every the 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 longer you waited the more it felt like you know what this is not happening this person's taking me for a fool they're messing around um or an ending needed to happen and they weren't doing it knight of swords there might have been some arguments and some conflict and some back and forth queen of swords and then eventually there was just a detachment you know what never mind page of swords don't hurt yourself Five of Cups, Seven of Wands, yeah, and the Ace of Swords. You're like, I'm, it's fine, I'm over it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't stress over it, right? Pisces, I got you that promotion. I don't know if I want it anymore, you know? If that's the kind of support I'm going to get from you as my manager or as my team lead or as my whatever, I'm not sure I still want it, no offense, you know? So it's like, thanks, but I'm not sure I want it anymore. But they're not going to let you go without a fight, Pisces. And I still see this as a really good opportunity, okay, to build, to put down roots, to have a stable, long-term, healthy relationship with this person. This could be the person you end up marrying, okay? I feel like you recognize that and you were willing to do whatever needed doing to pursue it. They may have recognized it, but then kind of procrastinated about it, were unsure or it took them longer to recognize the potential of this and therefore longer for them to figure out what they want to do with it. Um, if it's, again, collaboration, business opportunity, financial opportunity, you recognize the high priestess, the moon instantly. Like, this is great. This is what I want. This is what we're going to do. This is amazing potential. This is the best idea ever. This is a good money, money maker, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. And whoever else you were dealing with, I feel like they took longer to figure out what you saw. They figure out to see what you see. Um, sorry, they took longer to see what you see. They took longer to understand things the way you understood things. They could, took longer to decide what they wanted to do with it, decide on approach, okay? To the point where you said, you know what? This is the opportunity of a lifetime, but if you don't see it and you're not ready to do what I'm ready to do for it, like if we don't have that same level of dedication, that's okay. You just go over there, carry on with what you're doing. I need to be making different choices and that's what I'm doing. But when they're coming in, now they get it. <laughs> like with all these ones, like now they're get it. They're getting it. Now they're on the same page. Now they're more fired up. It's almost like the, the runner becoming the chaser now in a way, right? Let's do this. I'm ready. You know, I got out of whatever I needed to get out of. I cleared my schedule. I cleared this. I walked away from that. I got out of that. I made room for this, right? And making you some sort of big offer, some sort of big declaration. To get you to change your mind to where you're invested in this again. And I feel like it's going to lead, or that's the advice, Wherever this applies in your life, I feel like it's going to lead to stand strong in your position and ask the difficult questions. What took you so long? Number one. Number two, what's the plan, Stan? What are we doing? Like, I know what I wanted to do with this, but I want to see what you want to do with this. I want to see if you have a plan. I want to see what your estimates are. I want to see what your deadlines are. I want to see where you want to take this and what you've done to put in place whatever needs to be put in place for us to see growth here, okay? Because I'm not interested in a situation of, I know I want this, but I haven't really thought beyond that point because I have and I know exactly what I want, 
okay? And I'm not about to hold your hand and drag you along. You either are where I am or you're not, and that's okay, but we need to figure that out, okay? So it leads to negotiation, discussing terms, discussing expectations, discussing contract terms, right? Financial negotiations or expectations. What kind of relationship are you looking for? How do you approach it? Do you have the time for it? How much time? What, how, would, how do you feel? Like wh how many times a week do you wanna see your partner? versus how many times a week I want to see my partner and let's see if we meet in the middle, right? Like that kind of a negotiation and, and a, uh, discussion, discussion of expectations and terms, okay? And I feel like you're gonna make your decision accordingly. Oracle energy and advice for Pisces here. But yeah, this is something that you are very keen on. You are very open to at one point in time and it could be a person, an idea, opportunity to create something with someone, whatever it is. And the other person, the other party took a hell of a lot longer to decide what they wanted to do and to put things in motion and to get out of what anything else they needed to get out of to come your way, right? Um, they're there now. They really want this. They see what you saw. They want this. They'll be pursuing this. And it's a case of have a, have a conversation. If you're over it, you're over it, that's fine. If you still recognize potential here, have a conversation, at least entertain them, see what their plan is, see what their expectations are, see what they're willing to do for this. And then make your decision, you know, that way you don't have any regrets. So we have snake number 28. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. Yeah, you're very like, I don't know how I feel about this. Same energy, right? Number 10, for some of you, you're, again, you're, you're thinking, I don't want to say worried, but, or concerned, but you're like, I'm not sure whether or not there's follow through here. I'm not sure whether or not you have cleared anything else you would need it to clear off your slate in order for you to be free to pursue this. For some of you, you're not sure whether or not they ended what they needed to end. So that could be a conversation. And you're like, well, show me some proof then. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not gonna just believe your word. No offense, right? I'm not making plans on words. You're in a very practical mindset, Pisces, and I'm loving it. And with the justice card, you're like, you know what to do, you know what to ask. There is the wrapping up of a cycle here in order to make room for a new beginning. There is, it is happening. But I feel like it has so many twists and turns and delays and going round in circles that you're just very careful about it now. You're very, mm, I'll observe, I'll hear you out, I'll entertain, but I will be making a fair and just decision based on facts, which is perfect, okay? We have plane number 26, traveling is, yeah, significant. Eight of Cups, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. They're traveling to see you or they're asking you out somewhere to meet them somewhere. They're sending you an invitation. They're sending you plane tickets to go to them for some of you. Um, a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. It is something that still has a lot of potential. You just have to figure out if it has follow through. That's, that's the bottom line. Phoenix, number 25. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Yeah, for you, as far as you're concerned, this is mostly done. It's almost done, right? You're emotionally checked out, eight of cups. And this person is now trying to breathe fire back into the situation, okay? Can be resurrected, just depends on whether or not that's a good idea for you. Transformation number 32, reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person you want to be. This can be, again, some sort of life-changing situation for you because we have the message of becoming richer, literally for some of you, uh, or emotionally, your life quality increasing, okay, if that makes sense. It's some sort of elevation, okay, next level relationship, next level job situation, next level career opportunity, next level house, community, place you live in, people you deal with, right? 
but I feel like you just need to decide again this is something that there was a difference in speed in approaching this recognizing this preparing for it making the changes necessary that that gives you pause and also um, now you have to determine because whoever this is is coming at you so fired up you have to determine whether it's just the fire and the passion or keen interest but it will die down okay burn bright and burn away or if it's something that can be channeled into grounded pentacle energy meaning it will have follow through it will be consistent okay someone is determined not just fired up about something because that means you know as soon as that burns out you don't know what you got maybe they just lose interest or it's a case of no they are determined it looks like fired up but there's determination there's follow through behind it does that make sense i hope i'm explaining that correctly okay so we've got a decision to make either way for some of you that will be choosing between multiple options which one has follow through which one is in line with your long-term potential long-term future what that looks like to you um for others of you do you breathe fire back into something it still has a lot of potential but does it have death card right it's got a lot of potential but does it have follow through it can change your life your intuition will tell you that but you also have to be making practical decisions love excitement emotion passion is not enough if we want to build a solid practical reliable long-term future does that make sense the love and the passion is great when we want to push something forward when it's like a burst of energy that's needed great but we also need something that you can follow through with that keeps going in order for you to have a long-term stable future right that's the decision so let's look at your fortune cookie message so pick one two three a couple of numbers all the numbers this could be a message in addition to the reading or this could be a separate message individual message to help you on your day so let's see for Pisces fortune cookie messages Number one, we have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. So it could be tying into that message we got initially where you're in a place of peace, balance, um, focusing on your health, and you might be pulled in a lot of different directions. And you, might be feel, you might feel called to be a lot of things to a lot of different people today. Keep this in mind, okay? Number two, we have surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Here's that tower energy. Yeah, you were disappointed about a situation. If it ties into the reading, it could be a separate message, but if it ties into the reading, that's how that would go. Something that has kind of become a disappointment to you because of all the t turns and twists and how long it's been taken is now followed very, by a very pleasant surprise in the form of an invitation. That could be job related as well. Okay, just take the messages that resonate with your situation. Number three, the sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication in relationships. There's some sort of growth. There's definitely some sort of burst of energy that we're seeing. But we have to figure out if we can channel it so that it has follow through or if it's just a burst of energy that goes away just as fast as it comes in. That's the decision. Okay, so Pisces, that is what I have for us at this time. Let me know how you resonate with the reading, what this is for you. I hope the reading helps. Uh, let's see what happens, right? Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.